Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters, there is a message doing its rounds saying that the whole world at a specific time must all do one ibadah in order to earn the mercy of Allah. I want to explain to you logically and Islamically why that is wrong. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys I want to thank everybody out there who've been subscribing to your channel. You guys are the realest MVP and I want to thank the people who have been able to like you know comment in the comment section below. You guys are super super amazing and not forgetting the people who've been you know giving us suggestions you know. Uh, I mean the other people who are keeping us going and it, it's amazing and also another important notice I hope everybody's doing fine. I hope everyone is Staying safe and staying in the house uh, because of the COVID-19 and yeah so today we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here was actually suggested by some selective group of people they say that we should go react to Muslim preparing to pray at the same time in the world yeah so uh, we know what is happening around the world uh, people are not allowed to do the umrah and all those kind of things people are not allowed to pray in the churches anymore people are being told to go out so let's find out um, why muslims want to prepare uh, how muslims are preparing to pray at the same time in the world anyway without any further ado let's get it Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. In Pakistan, Maulana Bashi Farooqi requested the nation to recite call for prayer all across the nation at 10 p.m. two days ago. The call for prayer was here to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy and to protect everyone from the deadly virus. The people across the country compelled with Maulana's request and as a result, people came out on their roof to recite the azan. Muslims in Malaysia are encouraged to perform Salatul Hajat, prayer of need, simultaneously in their respective homes after Zuhr prayer in seeking protection and blessings in the face of the current situation in the country. This has been strategized in many parts of the world where groups of men have started to recite Azan at a particular time along with others to ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you think this is right to do, to call upon people and decide by your own particular time of call for prayer? If you are confused, let's hear what Mufti Mank states about this. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters, there is a message doing its rounds saying that the whole world at a specific time must all do one ibadah in order to earn the mercy of Allah. I want to explain to you logically and Islamically why that is wrong. Allah is the one who ordained Salatul Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha and Allah ordained Tahajjud and these are the most powerful. He says in the Hadith Qudsi that there is nothing more loved to me than the Farad, nothing more loved to me than that which I made compulsory. Allah would not have made it compulsory if he did not love it. So what has happened is he kept it at different time zones across the world because he wants to be worshipped all the time so those who thought of this idea did not realize that they were engaging in something totally contrary to what Allah has ever asked us to do to earn the pleasure of Allah we have to engage in the farad at the time according to the zone where we are living the time of the hajjud is the most blessed time and that is the time where Allah is asking who is who is asking me, I can give them. Who, who wants cure, I can cure them, etc, etc. And we are thinking that we will come up with a new millennial strategy to please Allah. My brothers and sisters, do you now realize why it is against the whole idea and wisdom of Allah in His prayers and the timings of those prayers? The same applies to many other acts of worship, including fasting. If you say fasting, there is someone fasting from the morning to the evening, any time of the day, day or night throughout the globe. 
Salatul Fajr is being read right now somewhere in the world. Salat al Dhuhr is being read right now somewhere in the world. Salat al Asr is being read right now somewhere in the world. The same applies to Maghrib and Isha. It is even Tahajjud is being done right now somewhere in the world because it is the plan of Allah to have all the acts of worship rotating throughout the 24 7. If Allah wanted, He would have been the first one to tell us that listen, the whole world has to do it at the same time. That's what will please me. But in fact, He says, what I have made compulsory is the thing I would love the most. So my brothers and sisters, you want help against a virus, what you need to do is you need to fulfill the farad, that which Allah has made compulsory is the thing He said He loves the most. And you need to abstain from the prohibitions. So improve yourself. I need to improve myself, the way I dress, the way I talk, what I do, my salah, my prayer. I shouldn't involve in haram, the sins, etc. Those who have bad habits, if you quit them, that is how you're going to earn the pleasure of Allah and seeking the forgiveness of Allah. We are not going to earn the pleasure of Allah by coming up with a strategy that is unheard of, unknown, and Allah knew all about this before He created the heavens and the earth by thousands of years, some say 50,000 years. So my brothers and sisters, let's not be hoodwinked into doing something actually foolish, thinking that it is good. The Quran says in Surah uh, Al-Kahf towards the end, قُلْ هَلْ أُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ صُنْعًا Should I inform you of those who have, who are at the greatest loss in terms of their deeds, those who are doing things, thinking that they're doing good, but they're actually not. And they will be thinking they're doing good. If you want to do good, just do what Allah told you to do. جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم سبحان الله so that's it brothers and sisters, we must follow the teachings of Allah and recite the prayers at the time that has been provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam doesn't teach us to alter the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to pray, if you want to ask for forgiveness, you can do it by yourself. If you think over it, you will know that Allah hears each and every one of your prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not partial or unjust in any way. Allah answers every prayers that are made from the heart, the forgiveness that is asked from the heart. So brothers and sisters, even if you are praying alone, it does not matter. But what truly matter is, whatever you are asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is from a clean heart. The rest Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already knows. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us guided in the correct path of Islam and cure the afflicted. Amin. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Wow. <clears throat> Amazing, Muslim praying, uh, Muslims preparing to pray at the same time in the world. That's a good explanation from a Muslim perspective, uh, uh, view or something like that. Um, according to Mufti Menk, he says that uh, Muslim should follow exactly what the Quran says or what Allah says and uh, probably says that you should follow the times on that. God wants everybody to, to keep on praying you get it like not just of a collective type of, of prayer and then no one is praying in the next particular minute and stuff like that uh, I mean I mean that's a good thing but where I tend to differ a little bit and this is my own opinion I feel so because um, I believe that when a lot of number, uh, a lot of mass, a lot of people are connected together in one thought pattern, having the same mindset, having the same idea of what to pray for probably or what to do so that, um, what to, uh, I mean what to pray for, or probably what to meditate for or maybe what to, you know what I'm, I'm trying to, to say the energy and the vibration the frequencies are higher compared to one particular person who wants uh, to probably kill or maybe to bring down something that is on a higher level you get it uh, i'm not saying that an individual person cannot pull down that higher uh, um, probably evil or whatnot. I'm saying it, it can be possible, but it will be uh, someone will need to 
put out a lot of energy and it's gonna drain you you understand it means that you have to pray all the time it it, it would actually take you like the whole day to pray so that you can pull it down so why don't we come together like let's say one million people coming together with one thought pattern and we are saying you know what today we're gonna pray and make sure that we bring down this disease or we bring down this virus or we bring down this kind of evil with the collectiveness of one million people I believe it can be brought down easily why am I saying that because the energy levels are going to be higher the vibration is going to be higher the frequencies are going to reach at a really highest level okay just imagine this uh, I'm, I'm just an individual type of person I'm individual yeah and I'm praying to bring down maybe the virus probably just to make it slow down you get it uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an individual guy my frequency my, my my energy levels wouldn't go higher probably to reach somewhere here and come back again to so somewhere here and come back it's, it's like a spectrum you get it just going up going back and forth and back and forth you get it it will not reach a place where it will just remain at a higher point probably at, at, a, at, at a at a momentum that is on a higher level you get it so it will never actually bring down anything but it will try but it will not reach the level that is going to bring it com bring it down completely but now imagine having ten thousands one million ten i mean uh, one billion people out there praying or meditating and putting just one thought and putting uh, and, and just having one thought pattern on what to actually do let's say we want to bring down the virus you understand the energy level this is how the energy levels are going to go higher they're going to go higher and higher and higher it will not even come down so the spectrum will just be like straight up it should just be like there it will never even try to to kind of a flinch a little bit it should just be right there you understand that's an example i'm trying to show you how powerful it is to be together and not to be together there's a saying that says united we stand divided we fall i mean it's just simple logic but i understand where mufti menko is coming from this is from a muslim uh, perspective of the quran i understand uh, in the quran it says a uh, god has given us time zones and we have to follow those time zones which is fine but again we have to realize at the end of the day we are energy beings we are people who are actually is creating energy out there we have powers that are within us that can fight any kind of diseases any kind of viruses that are coming upon us so how can we fight that you get it as an individual you can fight it but it will not reach you to that level of putting it down completely you you will pull it down but it will still stand up you get it just like um white cells in your body uh you are told like you should eat a lot of vitamins you're supposed to eat a lot of um uh iodine and all those kind of things and iron so that you can boost your immune that means your uh, white cells are gonna become a lot to be able to fight the disease in your, inside your body but if your white cells are low that means the disease is gonna pull you down it's gonna put you down it's just it's just logic just r rational thinking if i am alone i cannot fight out five people at the same time i have to have more than five people so that i can be able to pull down five guys it's, it's just the same idea that i'm trying to tell you guys but i'm not trying to um refute what mufti menka said there's a lot of truth behind that because the quran says so but again sometimes we need to use our minds we need to use our critical thinking so that we can be able to pull down such forces because i believe that together when we are together imagine 
like okay let's say for example look we are in this world we live in today do you know we are being controlled by one percent of people one percent are the guys who decides what we can do today what we can what we're not supposed to do tomorrow and all those kind of things i understand we have free will but they are the ones who are controlling us through media through uh television through radio and through magazines and all these type of things imagine only one percent type of people are the ones controlling some controlling like seven billion humans but today if we decide like we don't want to be controlled it's possible but the thing is we're so gullible we are gullible we are easily being controlled we're easily you understand so i believe that um my 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 final statement is i'm not trying to uh refute what mufti Menk say but my statement is um, and i'll leave it at that united we stand divided we fall if you feel like i react to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this uh video right here i mean such an amazing video and we such a nice discussion too if you have any kind of thing you feel like you want to discuss just go down in the comment section below i know there are people who will disagree with me there are people who are gonna agree with me just let me know in the comment section below what do you think what do you think what do you think what do you think just let me know in the comment section below and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel make people subscribing they may give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you in the next video or rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out